entire vid is a lie. Truth is, once you shook hands with Chuck Norris and everything comes from that, now every time you try to shave the beard off, it simply breaks the razor. That's a funny comment from one of my friends on the previous video that I made. And yes, I did get a chance to meet Chuck Norris in person. One of the coolest experiences and it was in one of the most uh, random places is when I was deployed to Iraq. Came back from a mission and Chuck Norris happened to be on base doing his USO tour. So he was my hero growing up. So, and I got to meet him. So as you can see in the picture. So I was a lucky guy that day. So let's just jump right into it. I appreciate all the comments and the responses to the previous video that I made about uh, how to stay fit uh, while being when you're over 40. And uh, so I got a lot of responses from some of my friends and some of the followers. So I figured I'd build from that. Derek was actually working on a video, but as uh, luck would have it, his uh, YouTube studio slash his basement got flooded with all these heavy rains lately. So I decided to do this quick video since uh, he's too busy cleaning up the mess. So uh, one thing, if you are interested, I will give you some book recommendations since uh, when I just came back from vacation a couple weeks ago from St. Kitts and uh, the book that I read while I was gone was uh, Never Finished by David Goggins. Um, I read his first book and it was outstanding and I decided to read the second one. I heard the second one was even better and the fact is it was probably one of my favorite books that I've read and it motivated me a lot to do uh, some extra running while I was on vacation. So while I was reading the book on the beach, I was actually getting pretty motivated just reading the book and some of the stuff that he experienced and the mindset. And I was pretty excited to actually go for a very long run at the end of the day. Like for me, it's not about the motivation because motivation could just last for 30 seconds you get motivated and then it just uh, drops right back down it's not it's about the mindset and that's what he talks about it's just uh being in that right mindset and how to push through some of the struggles and if you read some of the achievements that you've made in the running world it's hard to believe but i believe it could be done because I've, there's a lot of things that i thought i couldn't do um Especially like when I was in basic training, going through infantry training in the army. And when they said, by the time you graduate, you're gonna, your very last thing you're gonna do is do an all day 25 mile ruck march with a lot of obstacles in a way that you had to accomplish. And I was like, there's no way I'll be able to do a 25 mile uh, ruck march. And we've slowly built the distance over the months that we were in, in basic and infantry training and towards the end I was able to do the 25 miles without any issues and it's just some of those things that you think you can't do and you'll be amazed at what your body can do if you have the right mindset and if you put the, the right amount of time into it into some of the goals that you establish so Every year I try to think of a new goal for myself. And I know it's not getting easier with age, but I'm still uh, wanna keep it going and I haven't really determined what goal I'm gonna have this year, but I think I'm gonna do a, a half marathon with my friend. And uh, I'm not big on doing like uh, organized events like marathons or any of those big runs. I'd, I'd rather do it by myself or do it with a friend. And I find it more enjoyable because I'm not surrounded by people. I enjoy the nature and the peace and quiet. So hopefully I'll, I'll be able to accomplish this right now. As you can see, I'm uh, wearing this uh, compression sleeve on my leg. So when I was in uh, St. Kitts, it, uh, the terrain out there 
is some of the most rugged terrain that I've experienced for running because I, I found this uh, awesome uh, off-road trail and usually I just run just flat surfaces because around here in the Midwest it's all flat there's not much elevation so out there was a lot of elevation and this trail was just a dirt track and and it built into the mountains so then I was running this rocky trail and I was running about five miles every day and my body my legs were not just used to going all up all that elevation and a couple weeks before that when I was in St. Vincent I was also running about five miles and out there it's all mountains so it's a lot a lot of elevation runs so I uh, strained my calf and uh, when I came home I was running and that's when I felt it for the first time and I almost had to stop uh, running midway because it, it hurt so bad so now I'm just working on the rehab and luckily for this I could still do my weight training and uh, the rehab in itself is a workout so it's just a minor setback I'm gonna work through it and uh, gonna get right back onto back into running I just gotta do it uh, more gradual because I strained it again by just pushing the pace and including sprints into my runs so I'll just focus more on uh, zone 2 runs. So enough with the ranting and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, what a week's worth of training looks like for me. Uh, one of my friends, CG Training Addicts, you can check him out on Instagram, he's my personal friend and teammate very squared away guy check out some of his content if you're into in the firearms world uh, he does a lot of teaching and uh, very good content so he suggested I do a video on uh, what a week's worth of training looks like for me as many of you know the I'm in a law enforcement career so my schedule is extremely busy I work 12-hour shifts and if you're not familiar with how 12 hour shifts work in law enforcement for example you don't work 12 hours every day it's not Monday through Friday and uh, for example I'll tell you how it works out so and I'll talk you through it as I talk about the training and my work week so for example for my long week and that would be that's when I work the Friday Saturday Sunday I worked the entire three days. Monday and Tuesday would be my days off. So those two days on Monday, I will do private training with my coach. And since you've seen it on my Instagram, I do uh, Muay Thai training and BJJ. So for our private training, we just focus on doing uh, kickboxing uh, drills and combination work and stuff like that. So we'll do that, do some heavy back work, and that'll be, the, that'll be my training for the day. On Tuesday is my second day off. That's the day that I'll do my weight training. And usually I'll do kettlebell training as you see in my, uh, in my content. And for kettlebell training, usually it's about five to six exercises. Especially if I have some time, usually it would last about an hour and a half of kettlebell training. So those four, about five to six exercises and all of those are for four sets. And that includes a uh, 20 minute warm up with uh, 10 minutes of jump rope and the resistance uh, band prep. So that takes about 20 minutes to do the whole warm up sequence. I'm older now, so I gotta focus a lot on warm ups. I don't wanna strain anything and be out of service again. So Wednesday would be my first day of work. And usually on Wednesday, I work 12 hour shift, come home and I'll do a 5K run. Like I said, a 5K is the fastest workout you can get. Nice ways to get the blood flowing again after sitting around and uh, sitting in the car for 12 hours. And feels good to go for a run after work, especially during summertime. I love running in the summertime, even when it's extremely hot it feels good Thursday would be my second work day and after work I'll go for a run again I'll either do a 5k 
and if you you've seen the I use the Garmin watch my Garmin Tactics Delta a lot of you keep asking me about which watch I wear and it's a Garmin Tactics Delta I've had it for four years a great watch and uh, a lot of times when I uh, select a workout for the running it'll give me a suggested workout so usually on my second day since I'm off the next day and I could take a little more time with it it usually suggests a longer run sometimes it will be just a distance run at a certain pace sometimes it'll be interval run so you like run for two miles you warm up and then you include uh, sprints into your workout so you jog for two minutes and then you sprint it depends on the sprint workout it either be 15 second sprint or a 30 second sprint and then you jog for for another two minutes and it it'd be average about seven rounds so I'll do that workout and usually it's at around five mile workout or run Friday is my first day off so Friday Saturday Sunday would be my days off so Friday I'll have another private session with my coach and uh, I will we'll do the exact same thing as we did on a Monday we'll focus on kickboxing drills and heavy bag work on Saturday like today is a Saturday and today I'm gonna do my kettlebell training again and usually I just come up with a workout before I start or while I'm warming up for 20 minutes I'll think of something that I want to focus on not every workout is the same sometimes it will be a heavy kettlebell workout sometimes it will be lighter kettlebell workout it all depends on how I feel and what I want to do I know it's not like a straight up answer of you know like a set workout and programming or anything like that it's just over the years I've learned that this is what works for me because you know the regimented workout like programming stuff a lot of times you just don't feel like doing certain things so for me it's easier to just focus on stuff that I want to do and what I enjoy doing and tomorrow is Sunday so on Sunday is my day off and it's perfect because uh, my kids go to training and while they're doing their jiu-jitsu training and self-defense classes uh, it's a boxing class so I'll do boxing while they're doing their training so you kind of kill two birds with one stone works out perfectly so that's what my uh, my short short week looks like at work and uh, now the second week it's different because it's flip-flops so I'll go to back to work on Monday so same thing on Monday I'll work my 12-hour shift and I'll do a 5k run afterwards on Tuesday is my second work day and like I said I'll do a suggested workout on my watch whatever it recommends for the run I'll just do that like I said it could be a sprint workout could be a distance run could be a 10k run or de all depends on what the suggested workout is or, or what I want to do and Wednesday would be my first day off and it's my favorite training day because I usually I go to my gym and that's the day that I'll do Muay Thai class and then followed by a BJJ class it's a brutal training day burn about thousand calories and I get some additional rounds with my coach we'll do some uh, five minute rolls do about two to three rounds so pretty exhausted by the time I'm done with that and usually I used to do that every Wednesday but like I said the new schedule just doesn't doesn't allow that to do every week so I end up doing this every other week so Thursday would be my second day off and Thursday would be my weight training in my garage and like I said it would be just kettlebell training sandbag training mace bell training or whatever weight training I feel like doing that day and then I'm back to work for three days Friday Saturday Sunday so Friday I'll work and I will uh, after work I'll do a 5k run Saturday most likely I'll do another 5k run I'll just do it at a different pace I might bump up the speed or I might do it slower all depends how much sleep I had and the recovery I had and how my legs feel 
and then Sunday I'll do the suggested workout on my watch so it could range anywhere from 5k to 5 miles to 10k it all, all depends on how I feel or if I feel like it that I've tra trained too much or I ran too much I'll just take a rest day I just have to listen to your body because over the years I just learned to listen to my body and uh, I don't necessarily take a rest day all the time it's just the way it works out so this is what my training looks like for uh, for every week that I train because it, like I said my week flip-flops every time but I'm on call for work 24 7 so my training could change because a lot of times I get called out in the middle of the night and then I have to go work shift afterwards so I might be only getting like a couple hours of sleep and usually you don't want to push yourself and if I have something like that that comes up I usually take a rest day like I said my schedule is extremely busy it's very volatile my rest days and my training days are not guaranteed so I hope this answers all of your questions uh, keep those questions coming because uh, makes it a lot easier for us to create the content that you want to see so hopefully you like this uh, please add more questions uh, below and I'll try to do more videos about my training I can also do what a week's worth of uh, eating looks like and some just give you some of the ideas then for the nutrition I hope you're enjoying this content we would really appreciate it if you would like the video and if you would sub subscribe to the channel you can also hit us up on Instagram at to the core actual to the core media and officer 178 and we'll see you on the next one <music>